the topic I'd like to cover now is the hip joint. Um, now the hip joint is a very, very complicated joint because it involves muscles on the front or the anterior part of the thigh, muscles on the pos posterior part of the thigh, so you're talking about the quadriceps and the hamstrings. You also have the adductors that work on the inside of the thigh and you have the abductors that work on the outside of the thigh. You also have the hip joint itself, which is covered by ligaments and soft tissues, but also the hip is closely associated with the low back and the pelvic girdle. I do not want to go into too much detail about the hip joint because it is such a complicated joint. My advice in general, uh, my, my general advice would always be maintain mobility of the hip. So lots of stretching of all the muscles around the hip. Um, any pain you get, whether it be low back pain, hip pain or pelvic pain, go and ha seek professional medical advice because it can be such a variation of injuries. Particularly with the hip joint, if you're an older person, you do get wear and tear in the hip joint. And sometimes you do get referred pain from a hip joint into other areas. You treat it as a soft tissue injury and actually it's the joint itself. So it's very important you do seek medical uh, advice on any pain you get. Always remember the hip joint is very, very closely associated to low back pain or low back stiffness. So again, if you're doing these long distance events, always keep a check. Listen to your body, listen and um, feel any pain you get, get it checked out medically. Go and seek professional medical advice. And that way you should be able to finish your event by doing the right rehabilitation, having the right exercises to reduce the risk of injury, but more importantly to make it pain free and see so you, you finish the event safely and enjoy it.